Boy, the son of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and I also pulled two oracle cards for your recent past. The other two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Once again, those will be for your recent past. Then we'll go through the present time. How your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So, Leo, in the recent past, we have watch. On the flip side of watch, it reads, watch for a miracle. Coincidences are divinely inspired moments designed to remind us that a higher power is guiding our lives. And watch is paired with free yourself. Free yourself reads, it's time to take back control of your life. So, in the recent past, I'm picking up that a lot of you Leos, you needed to take back your life. You gave it to someone. Maybe you gave your heart away. Or you just gave yourself to someone maybe too fast. And it probably caused a lot of problems. It didn't work out. And you needed to pull back so that you could have yourself back and free yourself from your energy. So once you did that, it would have been important for you to watch for a miracle. Because coincidences... They were divinely inspired moments that came or that were about to come towards you. And those moments, um, they were designed to remind you that a higher power was there for you. A higher power, power, higher power was guiding you through everything and trying to help you free yourself also. So... Once you took that control of your life, uh, a lot of things probably happened for you. And if this didn't happen, and it was something like the situation, it's probably what you should have done. You probably should have took back control of your life and not giving you your power to someone else. And then a lot of miracles would have happened for you. And you probably would have saw a lot of coincidences. And it was just taking you to uh, to a better place. So that's what we have for the recent past. Now, why don't we move on down? Let's take a look at the present time. We have the Sun card and the Eight of Cups. So, just to explain the Sun card, uh, for the month of March, you're gonna be feeling really well with the Sun card. Things will be going very well for you. Your finances, they'll be in really good shape. If they're not now, they will be in March. Now, keep in mind, this does not mean that you should lose your focus on what's important in life. Because money is not, probably not high on the list for a lot of you. Probably not. A lot of you it is. Keep in mind, this is going to be a real good time to also socialize. To meet new people and get out and about and if you're looking for a new job this card it signifies that it's right around the corner it's coming in and when the sun card talks about love and relationships this is a time if you are in a committed relationship when the both of you you and your partner could need some more could need space more than usual Okay, you may be you may be in more than usual need of space when you get the sun card if you're in a committed relationship. This is gonna be a time when you should not be whiny, clingy, or needy. And if there's some single Leos out there listening and you get the sun card, it's um, definitely on the horizon. It's on the horizon. You see that sun? It's in the making. Okay, so that's the Sun card and it's paired with the Eight of Cups. Now the Eight of Cups is about choosing to leave a situation that's no longer working for you. Whether it's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved. But keep in mind this separation 
It's going to be in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead for you. And if your gut is, if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, living arrangement or something, go ahead and trust yourself at this time. Instead of this news coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, uh, this Eight of Cups in your reading, it means that you're the one who will make this choice. Keep in mind when one door closes behind, it has to do that before the next door in front of you can fully open. So just keep that in mind. That'll probably help get through some of the sadness that's involved in the separation. Eight of Cups, when it talks about love and relationship, relationships, it's it's still about deciding to possibly leave. Well, when it's, it's talking about love and relationships, it's about leaving a, a relationship if that's what you decide to do. You could, you could be, I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue twisted. All right, let me just say this again. The Eight of Cups, when it talks about love and relationships, you may decide that a long-term relationship is going to end. If you are sure about this, don't wait for the right time. And I say this because there is never going to be a good time to tell someone that the relationship needs to be over. Don't jump into a new relationship right away. Give yourself some time, then get back out there. So, for the present time, what we have for March, this Sun card and the Eight of Cups, um, there's some type of separation coming up in March. It could be from your person, a job, a neighborhood you've been at for years and years, and you finally decide to leave or move. Um, it's going to cause some sadness, but it's going to take you to a better place. Yeah, if you can get through the sadness without crawling back on your knees, um, it's going to be in your best interest. So you're walking away from something. You're leaving something behind. Uh, you're leaving. You, you could be withdrawing. You could go someone. You could. Um, you could just move on in the month of March or around that time. And then it takes you to this to this to the sun where things will be going really well for you. Your money is going to take off in a better way than it was. Um you you'll probably be getting out meeting a lot of people or that's what you should be doing because um things will be looking up for you. But just some some type of separation you're going to go through. Yeah, and it's going to cause some sadness, but um, with the sun card, it's going to, um, you won't be sad for long because the sun card, it, it's about being um, bright, happy. Um, you add sunshine to your life and to a lot of other people, people, a lot of other people's life. So, the sun card is really good for the separation because it doesn't make it as bad so that's what we have for the present time now let's move on over let's take a look at how your person how they view you how they see you they see you as the six of wands and the ten of pentacles now the six of wands is about victory if you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart just know that you will be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party, commencement celebration, or you may be receiving a, war, a reward for something, maybe for good work that you've done. This Six of Wands can make you feel really good, really good about yourself. You could feel as if you have a whole lot of support from everyone around you. Um, or, or on the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. 
If you can hope you can see the picture, I, this is one of my favorite cards in the tarot. This lady looks like she's standing on stage or standing on something, and then she's got these five. She's got a whole bunch of people around her. They're cheering her on, and she's enjoying it, and she's sucking it all in. And that will explain what I'm about to tell you, what the Six of Wands means when it comes to love questions. Now, when it comes to love, the Six of Wands, it suggests that you may be the type that needs someone to boost your ego, just like she's doing. She, she need, You can look at her and tell that she needs this ego boosting. Okay, she needs it, and the other the people that are doing the boosting, they're perfectly fine doing this. They're perfectly fine boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. This is what those twin flames have. This card is, is a lot about twin flames. Yeah, one person needs it, and the other person enjoys giving it. The two. This type of card is like an energy where, where you feed off of each other energetically. Um, with the Six of Wands, there's a lot of sexual energy. There is passion and long nights spent in bed. It's that magnetic chemistry that a lot of soulmates and especially twin flames, they have this Six of Wands in their energy yeah she's she's up there she's sucking in all of this admiration it's boosting her ego and the people around her they they enjoy feeding her they know she needs it and they they enjoy giving it to her so that's what the six of wands is about i like the definition um it's paired with the Ten of Pentacles. But what I'm trying to say is also this is how your person is seeing you. They see you as um, victory and success. So it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is a very happy indicator when it comes to love. If you're committed, this card can mean that it's going to move to the next level. Living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. All these things is an indicator of the Ten of Pentacles. For a time, you could have a really peaceful, happy period in your love life. So go ahead and enjoy it and make sure your lover, your person, make sure they know how much they mean to you. And if there's some single Leos out there and you get this Ten of Pentacles, this card, it can mean that a new love may come into your life so fast. It's going to make your head spin. So make sure you're open in the month of March. And this is also how your person is seeing you. They see you um, in a really great way. They see you as very thankful for this connection with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, they see you and this connection is a very happy situation and that it could possibly go to the next level marriage engagement childbirth with the six of wands they see you as their soulmate they see this this is as a really they see you this connection as a really great connect as a really great great energy it's a great um, it's a great experience for them it's a great um, victory so they see you in a really good way yeah let's move over let's take a look at how you see them now you see them as a tower in the four of cups now, the tower is about trying to hold too tight to the status quo. And we all know that can be a disaster. Um, it's about rolling with the changes when you get the tower card. It could be that some people, situations that you had counted on, 
they're no longer there for you in quite the same way. Keep in mind, this does not have to be drastic. Change is the nature of life. And if you try to prevent it, it's like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time when some of them come crashing down to earth. Keep in mind, that's only going to be a problem if you let it be. You'll be able to replace them with some more realistic, reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart in the month of March. Dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in, in a reality, too. When you get the Tower card and it talks about love and relationships... This can be, but not necessarily, an indicator of a relationship about to end. If you are in a relationship that you 100% absolutely don't want to see in, this is the time for damage control and clear communication. A lot of talk, a lot of discussions. You're going to have to find out where your partner's head is. Find out how they're feeling, how they're doing. Please do not make any assumptions at this time. You're going to have to find out for sure. A lot of talk and discussions. And this is how you see your person. Yeah, you see them possibly enlightened by some type of disaster in this connection. And they need to roll with the change. Or the connection could possibly end or someone could walk away now it's with this four of cups um, the four of cups is about wishful thinking as you can see this man is on the ground and he's just wishing his life away he doesn't plan on getting up anytime soon so this card it warns us to remember you have to pay attention to what is now and count the many blessings that we each currently experience and not worry too much about what could be. We all know it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have, but please be sure that you're counting your blessings. That's really important to do. Even if that means you, you get up every morning and thank God for three things, and that should be really easy. Just three things, because a lot of times you just... You can just wallow in self-pity. You've been doing that for so long that you forget that you're really, you're really blessed if you think about it. So get up every morning. Thank God for three things every morning. And then you'll you won't spend your time wishing your life away. you realize that you, you, you've got all you need. So this is just four of cups. Is about not spending too much time in self-pity, wishing your life away. A lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. So you always want to remember to focus on the positive. Put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. You want to do that too. So this is how you see your person also. You see them as possibly doing too much wishful thinking. And not um, being thankful for, for um, what you two have in this connection. And they probably, probably see them as wanting more. And more of what they really, more of what's not even necessary to keep this connection going or something. They're spending too much time probably... Wishing that wishing this was something different or wishing it was more or the, or something that do, they're just doing too much wishful thinking about And it it looks like it caused the tower moment It caused this tower moment So something came crashing down in this connection yeah, something came crashing down. Some fantasies probably fell apart. Um, someone probably walked away with this tower moment. 
Um, maybe they got tired of, of, or maybe you, Leo, you got tired of your person um, um, wallowing in self-pity. Or just maybe complaining about how things, um, or what could be, or what should be in this connection. So it caused someone to walk away and um, there was some type of disaster. So that's how you see them. That's how you see the person you're dealing with in this connection. They probably walked away and um, they made a mistake of where they put their focus. They were focused on the wrong thing. Where they should have been more focused towards um, being thankful for the connection. And that's how you see them. Okay? Now let's take a look at why it's all happening. It's happening due to this Queen of Swords and the Three of Cups. Now the Queen of Swords is about a woman. If it's not a woman, it's an energy in this connection. Um, that's very forceful. Now this woman is one not to be trifled with. Or, like I said, it's about a need to be really forceful and maybe really honest in this connection. Just to get your needs met. You may feel like you, you, may feel like you have to put your foot down. Um, your instincts are serving you well. You already know what it is you want and what you need. Now you just have to go after it when you get the Queen of Swords in a reading. Like I said, this Queen of Swords is a very forceful energy. And some people find her abrasive. Now, when it talks about love and relationships, the only caution is that you have to beware of the impulse to be too forceful, too harsh, too sharp. Uh, you probably heard the saying that you get more bees with honey than you will with vinegar. There is some truth to that. Well, there's a lot of truth to that. So just be careful how you use a sword. And when you, also when you get this Queen of Swords, it could be a mother or a mother-like. Maybe your mother-like, maybe your mother-in-law, some type of mother-like figure that wants to interfere in your relationship. Whether she means to do this or not. So in the month of March, you may have to figure out where your boundaries lie with this person and let her know. So this is why it's all happening. Due to the Queen of Swords, this is one of the reasons why. Um, someone probably uh, used force, force in this connection, some type of forceful energy. Some type of forceful energy maybe entered this connection. It could be someone from outside. And, um, uh, yeah, some type of sharp energy. Let's see what the Three of Cups says so that we can figure out what happened with this sharp, forceful energy. Now, the Three of Cups, you see these people jumping up and down? This is a really good card. It's about reunions. It could mean a reunion with a lost love. Hmm. Okay. Um, it could also mean running back into someone or meeting up with someone that's been away for a long long time it's it's a very very happy reunion it's upbeat yeah you see these people jumping up and down they got wine in their hands and they they're, they're so happy they don't re they don't realize they jumped up so high they're about to f fall into a lake that's how happy they are it's a happy reunion it can also mean celebration your own or someone that you care about. Uh, this Three of Cups could mean a new baby, a wedding, or some type of happy occasion. So this is why it's happening also. So, this forceful energy, like I said, it could be someone coming towards this connection like that, 
or it could be you or your person that's, that, that uses a forceful energy in this connection. But then we have this happy, joyous celebration, a circle of support here. So, this Queen of Swords, it seems like something, you or your person, you cut something out. You took the sword and you cut something out that wasn't serving this connection. So I'm picking up, someone was not coming into this connection like this. But you and your person, you took that sword and you chopped out whatever was jacking up this relationship and put a stop to something. There was, you, there was force. You had to use force to stop whatever was messing up this, this connection. And it, it brought, it's bringing you two together in a really wonderful way. Um, you two will be celebrating. You two will be rejoicing. Okay, because this negative energy that was there in this connection is no longer there. You two put a stop to it. You or your person or the both of you. And now you two just, you have a very romantic union. And it feels like this connection has a purpose finally. Yeah, so this is this is a good why it's happening. Yeah, but you had to you had to stop you had to step on something. You had to be really forceful and just say and just say no more. Maybe it was his mother in law that wanted to interfere. So you cut it out, and now you two are mm, you two are jumping up for joy. That's what that is. Yeah, so that's why it's all happening and. Um, like I said, you got this twin flame energy in there too. Yeah, so th that's a good thing. We talked about how they see you mm -hmm, as their soulmate. And something came crashing down about how you see them. But it had to happen though. It had to happen because someone was doing too much wishful thinking. And now there's victory with this Three of Cups. Because you cut out some, some, maybe some crazy lady that wanted to cause a lot of problems. Or you cut out something and you had to be really strong and forceful about it. But in the month of March, everything turns around in a real beautiful way with this Three of Cups. There's a friendship. There's a balanced friendship there. There's a, there's, you two will celebrate. And you will feel like you have a circle of support with each other. So you'll be rejoicing in the month of March with your person. And that's why it's all happening, Leo. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. You enjoyed this reading. You enjoyed this reading. You enjoyed this 